Um, we want to jump on the phone now with Jeremiah Wilson. He's a Chiefs fan, traveled from Nebraska to be at the parade with his seven-year-old daughter, Jeremiah. How are you and your daughter doing, and what did you witness today? We're, we're doing okay. We're uh, just kind of shaking up a little bit, and she's, she's watching Bluey at the moment, just kind of trying to... She's autistic, so she doesn't really understand. She thought it was fireworks going on, but she got really scared when everybody started running. So I had to pick her up as soon as I recognized that they were gunshots. And we just started running with everybody. We have this so, image from local police, an aerial shot of the, the, the most joyous moment. You had tens of thousands of people outside Union Station there in a, a crowd of red, a sea of red. Where were you in the crowd? And then where did you go when you realized something was wrong and you picked up your daughter to get out of the way? So we, we were kind of up in the middle area. Probably, I think I know what shot you're talking about, but we were kind of off to the left in the middle when we heard the gunshots. And... Um, we ran up the hill and once, once we started seeing everybody else run, cause it was, it was probably equivalent to maybe four or five city blocks and you could definitely hear the pop, pop, pop. And it sounded, it sounded like, uh, it sounded like, I, I don't even know. I haven't been paying attention to the news. Or nothing, so I don't know what the hell went on to be honest with you. I just know we got the hell out of there. Uh, Jeremiah, I, I also have little ones who enjoy Bluey. How will you explain what happened to your daughter? Uh, you know, it makes me, I don't get to do, I, I'm a single dad, so I've been raising my daughter since she was knee-high a grasshopper, since she was about two months old, and uh, getting out and doing things, you know, with work and everything else makes it really difficult to be able to have those special moments with her that I'd like to be able to have. And uh, I took her out of school today to uh, go down to this parade and for us to have some time together and create some memories around, you know, just some things that I enjoy and some things that she's, she enjoys. And she made a lot of friends there at the very beginning for, for it to end like, for it to end like that was just <sighs> sad. I mean, it's, I, I, I can't even put it into words. I really haven't had time to process a whole lot. Jeremiah, we so appreciate you jumping on the phone and, and speaking with us because so many people had an experience like yours today there in Kansas City. You still sound shaken from what you've been through. I just want to share with our viewers that CBS News can now uh, report that this shooting appears to be criminally related and potentially the result of an argument or dispute that turned violent. So according to our police sources, there's no indication that this is terrorism related. But for a single dad like yourself, who drives, I'm imagining, maybe you flew from Nebraska with your daughter to do something special, like so many yeah. people came from the region, just to be a part of this joy today. Um, what's your response to the news that this may have just been a, a, an argument turned violent? You know, there's back in my day, we used to pick up our hands and ball them up in the fists, and we fought it out that way. And uh, nobody seems to handle anything like, you know, like they used to back in the day. And in this day and age, everybody wants to pick up weapons and, uh, you know, figure out what the easiest way to hurt somebody the most is. And unfortunately, that's guns. And it's it's a quick way for. Uh, little kids to do what they're doing and 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 cause these problems and uh, I it, it's not even just kids it's people that are being ignorant that don't want to fight they don't want to box it out they don't want to duke it out they want to sit there and pick up weapons and cause the most catastrophe that they can without realizing that 20 years from now when they're sitting in a jail cell they're going to realize oh I messed up but it's too late you already did what you did uh. Well, it sounds like you did everything you could to keep your daughter safe. How did you get away? Ran. Ran, took cover. Ran some more. There were cars parked up? all over. Were you carrying What's your daughter? That? Yeah, I was carrying her for the most part. Yeah, she, she's not a light package. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeremiah no, Wilson. So we, 
Oh, go ahead. No, I, I just want to make sure we give you time to share your story. It's, it's clear that, that, you know, this is, this is a traumatizing incident. So thank you for sharing with us uh, what you remember, what you saw, and what you did to keep your daughter safe. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Is, are, is, the, you said the families aren't okay? No, I'm, I'm or, thanking you for sharing with us that you and your daughter are okay, it sounds like. Is everybody else okay? That's what I want to know. Uh, unfortunately, Jeremiah, there is a report of one fatality. Uh, we don't know anything about who that person was, um, but we do know that there were somewhere between 10 to 15 people who were injured. And again, we don't know if those people were injured as a result of the shooting or the crush of the crowd afterwards. Uh, but um, you're so kind to care about others. As you were starting to describe the scene as you picked up your daughter and, and were trying to run with her, and I know seven years old, it can be, a, it can be heavy. Um, Jeremiah, we just want to thank you for sharing your story. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys, and uh, hopefully, hopefully everybody, you know, everybody else is okay. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you, okay. Jeremiah. There's no kids. Is there any kids? Can you tell me that? Yeah, not as far as we know, according to police from their most recent press update. Um, but thank you. Thank you, Good. Jeremiah, for caring as yeah. well.